Hello, I'm Dr. Sidney Banks from the CTMH Doctors' Hospital, and I'm here today with Nurse Rosanna Humphreys-Johnson from the Health Services Authority. We both look forward to helping Caymanians and residents get the facts straight. Firstly, how does the virus transmit itself? The coronavirus is a family of viruses that can cause mild illnesses, such as the common cold, up to severe acute respiratory syndrome, otherwise known as SARS or MERS, the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, some really bad pneumonias that you've probably heard of. Basically, the virus is a round object with a lot of spikes sticking out of it, and depending on the type of spike, it will allow that virus to attach to certain places in your body. Some viruses have a spike that attaches to your nose when you get a cold. The SARS virus and the new coronavirus has a spike that allows it to attach to the cells in your lungs. When it attaches, it puts information into the cells to make copies of itself. So it uses our equipment to make more viruses. Most of the coronaviruses live in animals. In the case of the virus that causes COVID-19, it probably originated in a fresh food market in the city of Wuhan in China. It is thought that the virus was in a live animal in the market and it crossed into a human. Then it appeared that people were getting sick if they lived in the same household or if they had been working in a caring role, which meant that the virus was able to pass from one human to another human. Just like all viruses, it needs to reach its target, which is your lung, and it has to get there with your help. It has no feet and no wings, and therefore it needs us to move it there. That's why we keep saying, don't hang around sneezy people because you're going to breathe it in, and don't touch your face because that's how the virus is going to get in. Face masks are helpful, but not necessary because after a short while they leak and it's a better option to keep your distance some three to six feet away from people, especially if they've got respiratory symptoms. If you're sick, we tend to mask you so you're not spewing out viruses to the people around you. The most secure masks are the N95 masks which are used by healthcare workers carrying out procedures on patients. So in the beginning, the coronavirus will give you flu-like symptoms or a cold so people will get a stuffy nose or perhaps a fever. And then as soon as the virus starts manufacturing in your lung cells to produce all these copies of itself, then the lung cells get damaged and you can't exchange oxygen as well as normal. That's why one of the early symptoms is that people get short of breath and they have difficulty breathing, which might mean you need help from the hospital. There is no direct treatment for the coronavirus at the moment. There is no medication to kill it, so the treatment is supportive. If the patient can't breathe, we give them oxygen to help them breathe and fluid to support them if they're not drinking well. If the kidneys aren't working well, then we may need to support that function too. Exactly, Dr. Ebanks. And because it's a very new virus, our immune system has not met it before and needs to learn what to do about it. Our bodies need to make antibodies which will grab onto the virus particles and it will get rid of the virus for you and bring you back into good health. So just remember, your hands may come into contact with the virus. The virus cannot hurt you on your hands because it can't get into the body from there. But the moment I have to put my hands on my face, I have brought the virus right to where it wants to go. Let's remember not to touch our hands to our face. Let's consider if you might have gone on a plane or been in contact with someone who has the virus, what should you do? You can contact your healthcare provider and seek their advice. They will let you know what to do. They might advise that you take medicines for a fever and depending on how well you're managing, they might say that you should stay at home for now or go in to see a doctor. Let them know, especially if you have been traveling. Your healthcare worker will let the public health department know that you are unwell so that you can follow up with them as well as your family. Unless you need to go to the hospital, they'll probably advise for you to stay at home for 14 days until you are well. 
We really need your help to stop the spread of viruses. If we get the facts right, we don't have to be overly worried. It's a community effort to contain it, to stop it. So don't forget, clean your hands with soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Cover your nose and mouth when coughing or sneezing. Avoid contact with people suffering from acute respiratory infections. Keep three feet, preferably six feet, from everyone outside of the home.